Hello guys and uh, welcome to this new video. So we play in this game, uh, in this video against uh, Amwati Avergl, <coughs> which is a uh, which is a viewer of the stream and uh, wrote me to to have a game against me. So he's rated one thousand three hundred and two. Uh, so e four, e five, knight f three. <coughs> uh, let's uh, let's go with the four knights, knight c three. Not uh, not going too aggressive at those at at this thought uh, against who are rated usually. Just I uh, just try to have a. A strategical game going on so d4 it's the it's a going the four knights so it's uh i mean uh assuming i don't know the name of this opening but it's uh it's a way to play a scotch <clears throat> bishop c5 don't quite know this move usually black play bishop d4 knight takes c6 pawn takes c6 uh, bishop d3 and d5 so this is a uh, this is the usual variation uh, here, um, I could go knight b3 probably, uh, with the idea to go bishop g5, uh, which uh, which would tr transpose in a quite good uh, scotch, I guess. I'm a bit worried about bishop b4 maybe, but I guess bishop d3 would be okay. So bishop g5, for the moment bishop f2 check, king f2 and knight e4 is not working because the knight takes back on e4 protecting the bishop so bishop f2 not quite working for the moment at least so now my idea is, my idea is pretty simple queen d2 long castle f4 e5 so this is my plan um, the black pieces are a bit stuck on the queen side so it's harder for black to start a pawn storm on uh, on the king uh, which would be long side while i can easily go f4 e5 maybe not maybe e5 is not that easy but uh, f4 should be uh, quite easy to play to take space and prepare e5. So I will have uh, a good hand on uh, on the center. So queen d2, long castle. Let's play simple moves for the moment. I could play bishop d3 with the idea to go knight d5 and take. Uh, and have a uh, and, and and take use of, of this good uh, of this good pin. H six might be an interesting move because after Bishop H four, Knight takes E four, might be an interesting motive because after Bishop takes D eight, then Knight takes D two, and uh, the Knight is going back, uh, is getting away with Knight takes B three check. So H six might force me to take on uh, to take the Knight h6 pretty interesting move it's really the move i would consider here with black because if i have to take take and knight d5 uh, well i'm not sure i really want to take the bishop on b6 because after pawn takes the a5 is opening yeah h6 definitely an interesting move okay bishop e6 so he's uh stopping Knight d5 was still not quite an idea, but he's already stopping that. Uh, <clears throat> I could then play just bishop d3 for the moment. Let's go just bishop d3. Yeah, makes sense. Just develop sl s slowly my pieces. Still quite concerned by h6. Don't know why I'm not uh not really uh not really really so I could take a knight d five as uh as last time. So a five is starting his pawn wave. Yeah, interesting. Um I would have to go knight d5. <clears throat> but a4. After a4, now knight d5, a4. Uh, could I play bishop take, pawn takes, and, and queen to, to h6? And this king is looking really bad. 
because look, uh, knight d5, a4, chef f6, pawn takes f6, and queen h6. And if you take my knight, I hope you're still with me, guys, because I'm going uh, very far away. When you take my knight, I take back with the pawn. And look at that, my queen is on h6, my bishop is on d3, and I'm straining the checkmate on h7. So it seems to me it should be a good move. I hope you carried with me, because it was a long line. So a4, bishop takes, pawn takes, queen h6. And if you take my knight, I take back and the h7 spot is uh, it's just dead. <clears throat> well, so is, is one move, one move away, one move late to play a4. And if he plays bishop takes d5, pawn takes, yeah, it's still quite playable though. And knight e5, queen, f, queen f4 would be played then. Or maybe not, because he has a... Uh, it's, it's, it's complicated, I, 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 won't, I won't go into details right now. Just don't want to submerge you with, uh, with details. So. Anyway, bishop d5 seems, seems to be false, because if you let me play bishop takes, pawn takes, queen h6, I mean, this king is, 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 is really naked. So you have to take take a ninety five. <clears throat> then it will be my time to sink, and probably queen f four is uh, is playable. So with the idea also to bring my my knight to to d four or to d two. So I will uh I will keep the options. Anyway, if he takes knight takes d five uh to attack my queen, I will always have some queen h four. Threading checkmate, so let's go queen f4. So after knight d5, now I can play either bishop h7, rook takes d5, either try something like uh, queen h4, and after knight d3, rook d3, I will bring my rook to h3 and maybe give a checkmate. Knight g6. This is a really decent move because after bishop takes can maybe take with the f pawn to at least solve the problem of the of the of the pin. So I will just go queen f3 for the time being. So queen f3. I'm putting my pawn and I'm keeping uh, pressure on uh, on this knight. So it's a two in one move. And now I want to play knight d2, knight e4. A really good game by Amwati you, you, you should You should say that. Uh, it, and it's a game for me also, but I mean, wh when you play against stronger rated players, sometimes uh, it's, it's easier to produce a good game. I mean, it's obviously harder to win. But it's easier to, to produce a strong game, maybe because the patterns are are, are more solid uh, for, for the for the better player, and you you, you, you can enter with 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 good pattern yourself. Maybe it, it makes it easier to have a well constructed game. Queen f3 is a is a good move. So let's bring my knight. Knight e5 might be played here, but I would not sure with queen h3, uh, looking toward uh, toward the pawn. Uh, a3 of course playable, I uh, would not sure with b3, and then maybe some uh, bishop d4. It's still hard to see the queen getting uh, <coughs> anywhere close to the king. <coughs> so some a3, b3, bishop d4, uh, knight e4. Then something like that might occur. C5. To me, it looks like uh, the the first real mistake by Black, maybe uh, because uh, uh, under uh, time pressure. So let's now go 94. Let him search for the answer. 
because the question asks uh, is is uh, <coughs> is how to say how to answer. So after knight e5, now I can play bishop f6, and if knight f3, bishop d8. So now in this line, I'm winning a piece, and if after knight e5, bishop f6, pawn takes, so I'm just taking on f6 with a check, and probably winning uh, easily. Oh, and knight takes d5, bishop d8. So this is, this is just game over. This is just game over now. <clears throat> But a very, very, very tense and interesting game we had here. So I'll just enter a GG uh, to my opponent and I will go a bit backward. So uh, let me show you all, all those ideas. So, um, okay, bishop c5, okay, bishop g5, queen d2. So okay, I'm always having this idea of knight d5, maybe, but maybe bishop d3 is more precise or Okay, I don't know. I don't want to get much in, into those details. I want to go to the interesting uh, moments. So bishop d3, a5. So, well, it's 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 a well-constructed plane by black to try to go for, for, for this king on c1. So here, knight d5. So as I said in the game, after a4, bishop f6, pawn f6, queen h6, Bishop takes and okay, I'm straining on f6 after bishop takes, pawn takes. This h7 pawn is just going to die. Uh, the thing you could have trapped a bishop f6, maybe pawn takes b3. <laughs> well, wizard, if I take on d8, just showing you pawn takes a2, and this is just running to just going to become a queen. But in this case, uh, I had uh, queen g5, so attacking on g7. And uh, now, I mean, if any move, I, I would just save on g6, which would uh, fall to queen h6. But but now, uh, even if we got this variation, uh, the rook has time to to come on d1. So knight d5 is uh, pretty much the only move. If I don't play that, then a4 is coming, and this knight is looking stupid. So uh, so knight d5, he took, I took back. He went knight e5, queen f4. So here, as I said, after knight d5, I could have gone bishop h7, king h7, and queen h4. It's not the thing I said, winning the queen. Um, so knight g6 was a decent move, queen f3, a4, knight d2, and here the big mistake, c5, just losing a tempo. I thought about a3, b3, and, knight, and bishop d4 to come back helping this knight out and uh, <clears throat> this was I really interesting to play I mean 94 I, I think I will be able to trade everything on f6 and uh, he, he would have to defend an end game with double pawns but I'm not sure this is a uh, this is this good for white though the more I'm looking at it the, the more I like uh, the more I like white I mean white is what white is better here it, Two bishops and uh, some pressure on, on, on the king, and in fact I don't see how, how to bring this queen to b2 because it's never going to occur. So this king, in fact, is is not uh, is not is not that bad looking. So we can always go some h6, take, 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 take and take. I mean you can still go to those end games, and it's never easy for white in the rook end game to to finish up the game. Even if it's uh, an advantage, uh, you can still play for ages and, and try to, sell to save a half point. So a really good game from Hamwatie. Uh, if you want to have a game with me, just, just saying, as, I, as a lot of people are writing in the comments, just write me messages either on LightChess, either on chess.com, so it's easier to find each other. Uh, thank you again for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.